What is your holy grail of vinyl records? And do you have it already? Or are you trying to obtain that said holy grail? Yeah, so I think that a true collector, which we both are, you know, as cliche as it sounds, the, your favorite piece is your next piece. And uh, the difference between me and most collectors is nothing I have is for sale. You know, and so, um, you know, I, I have my favorite musicians, Morrison Seeger, my VC. I named it after Jim Morrison, Van Morrison, and Bob Seeger, who are three of my favorites. We have a human named Henley. I love the Temptations, love Billy Joel, and there's stuff that I just buy because it means something to me. Uh, but, you know, throughout this, I'm going to probably go and spend stupid money on something that it might be a Milli Vanilli B-side pressing from Germany that's just kind of fun to have. But, again, the buzzword as an investor outside of being an obsessed collector is alternative investing where the stock market might be in flux, the real estate market might be too difficult to enter. And so being able to buy something and hold on to it and be the first, you know, to do this, there's value there. So for me, you know, I have to take a a relatively unbiased approach. um, But when there is something that pops up that I see, you know, I'll probably be a consumer and a user for it as well. 